I've seen a lot of games, and I have a feeling this one is going to be special. The divisional round of the NFL's greatest team season. A good one to start from Foxborough. Pittsburgh on the heels of a dramatic win over Buffalo in the wild card round. They bow to the Patriots who score a touchdown on their first drive. Randy Moss, one of his nine catches on the day. Bradshaw finds the tight end to tie the ball game at the half. Grossman with two touchdowns in as many playoff games for Pittsburgh. Into the fourth quarter, Brady was terrific on third down. Back-to-back conversions here on this fourth quarter drive and nearly another, but Watson has stopped just short and they'd have to settle for the field goal. Then Bradshaw would show Brady how it's done on this outstanding two-minute drill. Thornton the catch in the first down and then Swan with an even bigger play over the outstretched arms of one of the best corners in the league this year, Asante Samuel. And the very next play is for the Steeler lead. 16 yards to John Stallworth over the diving Eugene Wilson. Pittsburgh leads it 14 to 10 late in a slugfest. Brady needs another scoring drive. He'd begin with a big play to Moss, but they couldn't do much after that. And he got no help from the running game today. Third down incompletion. Fourth down desperation for the game, and Brady could barely get the ball away. In a deja vu of the Super Bowl against the Giants, they'd fall short 14 to 10 against a great defense, allowing just 14 a game with a plus five turnover differential, and they were plus two today. Outstanding performance from the Steel Curtain, holding New England to 15 yards rushing, and they also picked off Tom Brady two times on the day. The Steelers advance to the AFC title. Pittsburgh plays the winner of this divisional game from Denver. It's 22 degrees at kickoff between Miami and the AFC West champion Broncos. That didn't phase Greasy, who puts together a great drive. First, the 43-yarder to Twilly, then the touchdown to Zonka. One of two in just the first half for the Hall of Fame fullback. The second is from 26 right here to give the Dolphins a commanding lead but Elway would will the offense back. Very little help out of Davis on the day. He had just five carries, but it didn't matter here. Green the touchdown that off of Elam field goal. It's a one point game with three minutes to go. McCaffrey was huge on this drive and would be very impressive overall. Green the catch, but Elway trying to fit it in to McCaffrey in the end zone is picked off by Foley. The Dolphins would go three and out though, so Elam's mistake didn't end the game. McCaffrey, another big catch here. And then the Dolphins figured we might as well not cover him at all on this play. And he was one player away from a touchdown. Broncos run the ball to set up Elam, who had been on fire in this one. Just a 30-yard chip shot for the lead, and he blows it. A humiliating miss from one of the best kickers of all time, Jason Elam. And that is how the Dolphins escape on the road with a 17-16 nail-biter. Zonka was very good in the Miami win on the road. Plenty of upset wins throughout a dramatic playoff for the greatest team season. Dallas had one of those upsets against the Rams last week in the wild card. Aikman and the Cowboys try and pull off an upset again against the number one seed 49ers. Jones gives San Francisco the lead on the game's only touchdown of the first half, but Aikman looked poised to respond. A big play to the other tight end, Novacek, but two plays later, Chet Brooks picks off the quarterback in the end zone to secure the 49er lead. Rathman would begin the third quarter with this touchdown and a commanding 11-point edge for San Francisco. The playmaker was one of the best receivers in the league this year, and he makes one of his best plays of the season right there. Missed two-pointer, but it's a five-point game. Sydney's only catch on the day would set up this fourth-quarter touchdown from Craig, and with the two-pointer, San Francisco's lead is 22-9 late in the ballgame. The Cowboys look done on this fourth and 20, but Alexander Wright makes the play to keep Dallas in the ballgame. One tackle saves a touchdown, but it wouldn't matter as two plays later, Aikman finds Martin in the end zone with the PAT. Dallas is down 22-16. San Francisco had 18 first downs on the day, but they needed one more to secure it there. Dallas gets it back. Aikman and the Cowboys blow a chance to win the game here as Mike Walter intercepts and the 49ers survive. 
Aikman had a terrific day on the road, throwing for over 300 yards, but his two crushing interceptions ends the Cowboys season. are moving on. We are down to the final four of the NFL's greatest team season. The best two teams out of the 1970s, the Steelers from 78 and the Dolphins from 72 to determine the title out of the AFC. Our NFC championship game will be played the next day with the upstart Cinderella 2015 Carolina Panthers paying a visit to Candlestick to battle the 1989 49ers. Join us this weekend for full game broadcasts of the two championship games of the NFL's greatest team season. <laughs> 